Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program and today we're going to leave the solar system. Now the best way to do that is using infinite fuel and I know it's a bit cheaty but I think that's the only way we're going to get there in less than a year. Now I'm using these tiny Sepatron engines because their power to mass ratio is just great. I should have called this a starfish because that's what it's looking like at the moment. As you'll see in a minute, this thing is insanely hard to point at the right direction, but by some miracle I'm, I'm able to point it roughly the right way. I'm just adding as many Sepatron engines as this thing can hold. I'm still adding an SAS unit and some RCS thr uh, thrusters just to try and get some control over this thing. Now for the naming, it's pretty self-explanatory, let's get the fuck out of here. Now stopping this thing from overheating was the toughest job in this whole mission. It kept overheating so I had to keep pressing the infinite uh, fuel on and off just to try and get it to cool down a little bit. Um, it worked kind of but I wasn't thrusting the whole time, I had to just pulsing it. Um, so it was a lot slower than it could have been but it still got there in the end I guess. Or should I have told you that? Well you'll see what happens at the end. You can see this thing getting shock heated because it's travelling at such high speed. This thing didn't even get into curb and orbit, it was travelling so fast it just escaped straight away. So now that we're in solar orbit, I'm just going to point away from the sun and thrust away. And I know this probably isn't the most efficient way of doing it, but we have infinite fuel anyway so it doesn't matter if we're inefficient. You can see this thing just spinning crazily out of control but it points in roughly the right direction so it doesn't really matter if it does that. And finally we have solar escape and if we didn't have time accelerate, even travelling at this speed it would take us maybe months in real time to get there so I'm really thankful for that. Even though we'll get there eventually I'm still pulsing those engines because I'm too impatient to wait that long. If you look at that velocity changing, this thing is just insanely powerful. So we're nearing the end now and that velocity is just insane. This thing is spinning out of control as well, I have no idea how it got this far, but we're gonna make it. Have one last look at the sun, thanks for the warmth and the cancer. So we're nearing the end of the video now, let me know what you want to see next time on Kerbal Space Program. You can see those curvals in the bottom right hand corner just going crazy from the velocity. Anyway, we're reaching the end now, any bets what's gonna happen? I think next time I might try and actually get to the moon. The age old question, what's gonna happen at the end of the line? Um, uh, okay, you just make new line? Anyway, I've been Naz, you've been fabulous, and I'll see you next time.